flashes in the sky, seen close to a major military airbase near the Iranian city of Isfahan. This overnight video is from Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard. CNN cannot verify its authenticity. Iranian officials said air defences downed three drones with no reports of a missile attack. A US official tells CNN Israel carried out the strike, saying the US was warned but did not endorse the response. The Israeli military has no comment. State-run media reports Iran's nuclear sites are, quote, completely secure. The UN nuclear agency also confirms no damage. Calm street scenes dominate Iranian airwaves, visual proof of claims of business as usual, with little appetite for further escalation. In general, we are not in favour of war one way or another. War is destructive. We are against war. We do not accept whether this side launches attacks or that side launches attacks. We do not accept it. We are not happy with the killing of people, whether they are Iranians, Israelis or Gazans. Tensions around the Middle East remain on a knife edge following Iran's unprecedented direct strike against Israel last weekend. Around 170 drones, more than 30 cruise missiles and more than 120 ballistic missiles were launched at Israel by Iran, the vast majority intercepted by the Israeli Air Force and Israeli partners. A response to a suspected Israeli strike on an Iranian diplomatic complex in the Syrian capital Damascus on April 1st, which killed a top commander and several others. G7 foreign ministers are meeting in Italy with a unified call for maximum restraint. What we're focused on, what the G7 is focused on, and again it's reflected in our statement and in our conversation, is our work to de-escalate uh, tensions. Um, to de-escalate from any potential conflict. A call that early indications suggest Israel may have heeded. Paula Hancock's CNN Beirut.